true. You know, like so. Prime example: this remote right here, <laughs> the best, best joy, best joy, super right remote. in your hand. <laughs> yeah, well, it's because I'm I'm like writing my, you know, notes for it. <laughs> but, but, but the reality is, you know, the reason why I chose to to review this is because Harmony's, you know, they're defunct, they're closing shop. So I'm kind of like, I feel obligated that I need to find some alternatives for people that are wanting to replace the harmony, whether it's now or down the road. And so I'm having to kind of check out some of the stuff like this and, and it's got some issues. I mean, it, it worked good, but their app is just, man, that is the hardest thing. It is not user friendly. Um, there's a lot I'm going, I don't even know what to click on, you know, even their, um, yeah, it's just it's odd. So I'll, I'm trying to work on that review now and hopefully have that up maybe either tomorrow or the day after. But, you know, you kind of take a gamble on this thing because there may not be but a handful of people that are really even interested in that. Like I said, it's kind of a charity thing, you know. And if people like it, that's great. But um, <laughs> so Jeremy says the best joy folks keep emailing me him to review it too. Uh he said it's a Chinese scam. Not a Chinese scam. It's a legit product. And honestly, there's some really cool things about this. I actually, I like, there's a lot of things I do like about the remote. And as far as functionality, it works good. Um, just their app is way not user friendly at all. So it's almost like the opposite of what the Harmony is. You know, mm -hmm. Harmony has a really slick app, it's really easy to add. Uh, devices and then once you add your devices okay let's create some activities so when i click watch movie it turns this on it sets this input we add a delay here it's just super intuitive i mean just really really no brainer and this thing is like i had to email them and say how do i create an activity and they're like oh you have to make a compound a what a compound duh what does that even mean you know <laughs> so it, it's just it's it's, it's definitely different, but they did say in an email a while back, they said, we know our app isn't the best, you know, and we want to make it better. So um, the good thing with something like that, I mean, hardware is one thing. Software is easy to update. Like, like Chana is talking about the Zipidi, being able to add functionality to the back end to that user interface, they just do that with firmware updates. They can do that over the air. And so the good thing with this software and their app is they can always update that and make it more user friendly. So, <laughs> oh mercy, <laughs> Croson, you're something else, buddy. Uh, but yeah, so Boxcar, I'm trying, man, I'm trying to find some some alternatives. So there's that. There's another company out there that um, I've been reaching out to, and uh, they were supposed to come out with one, I think, in like the summer of this year, but I think they ran behind because of the chip chipsets and everything. So. That one's called the. Oh man, do y'all remember the name of that? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I, I got a, I got into a new one. It's pretty cool, but it's, it's expensive. It's like, it's like this one was too originally. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! I even did a Joy Luck Club. I, <laughs> I, I did a live stream with them. Um, oh, YIO. It's called the Remote Two. So looks very, very promising as well. It's like a really beefy remote, like very well. Like this is. Plastic, I mean, 100% plastic. It's just real light. The other one looks like it's made out of metal or aluminum. So um, some higher components in that. So Dish Harmony wrote. Cheers. <laughs> um, you know, the one I signed up for was OVO Remote. OVO. Have you seen that? What um, is it called? OVO? O OVO Remote or maybe OVO Moat or I don't know. Mm, anyway. I'm not sure if I'm. It's like 90 bucks. I was like, okay, cool. I'm like, okay, we're getting ready. We're getting ready. They sign up for their emails, 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 emails. And then I go and it's like, oh, shipping date. Sometime in 2023, I'm like, oh, fuck mm -hmm. this. Like, I'm yeah. not going to spend $90 now for something next year. I get yeah. out of here. Um, but it was, it looked promising. It had a nice, nice little, nice screen on it. Nice you size. O OVO? Well, I guess OVO. they're not. OVO. Not any information. Oh, OVO mode. OVO, OVO mode. Yeah, OVO mode. Yeah, Who's the one who doesn't I, I got like OVO? Are okay. you the one China who doesn't like sofa baton? It sucks. <laughs> I didn't like it. Well, it's funny because I, I, I remember China said this thing yeah. sucks. You know what he usually says. Yeah. And I'm thinking, 
is it really that bad? Yeah, it's that bad. Yeah, huh? it was yeah. rough. It was it just, pretty bad. Man, it, it just had all kinds of glitches, and I had trouble pairing it just with their hub. And and then once I got everything working, I'm like, okay, man, this is cool. I got it the way I want it. It's working good. I'm going to reset it to factory. Man, that was a stupid idea. And I'm <laughs> filming it. it. Yeah, broke I'm, it. <laughs> I'm filming it to show everybody, okay, here's how you set it up. Here's how you pair it. And it won't pair. And I'm like, and so I was just frustrated in my review. And uh, so, but that that's kind of, sometimes I feel like we're um, beta testers for companies. Yeah. Instead of like oh, yeah. perfecting this thing, making it rock solid, and then sending it out to content creators like us to, to make reviews on it. And show like, people how to use it because their instruction manuals are absolute garbage. Yeah. Right. But then, but then sometimes it's like, okay, you figure it out and let us know what doesn't work so we can send it back to our engineers and have them work on it. So, but yeah, so I haven't been super impressed with sofa baton. This thing definitely mm -hmm. isn't a full replacement. Now it's very feature rich. I mean, there's a bunch of tech in there, which is really cool, but there's a pretty stinking crazy learning curve on the thing. So, um, it's look not at that guy looks happy. This guy on the, yeah, look at him. This guy right here. Look, look, yeah. Look at him. App control. Yeah. He's, he's even happy. flexing the biceps, man. Yeah. Yeah. He's over here. <laughs> screen's he's going over. down. He's over here. He's like, like, there he is. Oh, it's a oh, full video with him. <laughs> <laughs> so the good, the good go. thing is, look, he's, he's, oh, like he's lounging out good. Sunday afternoon. Got his, you know, hey. just watching football. So, is so it, this is the Ovo remote, <laughs> Ovo mode. Is it mirrors? Right. You have all kinds of different looks. Like, look at the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it's casual okay. Sunday. He's like, I just got home from work. All right. All right. I got, got the suit on. <laughs> oh, 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 too many remotes. Uh, up, up. Ah, oh, frustration. <laughs> frustration uh, station uh, so look so uh, it'll do your smart curtains smart lights tv and like uh, all that other stuff um yeah. it says like plex tv apple tv uh, roku heos so um i don't know i think one of the things that really made um what does it say buy now what does it take you to 1500 backers they're almost uh, they've definitely got their goal but um i don't i think their ship date is sometime next year so i'm like i don't i don't know if i want to do that but yeah, I, it looks cool. So we'll try it out. It's all the same shit. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. I, don't yeah. know, I don't know what you guys do with the remote so much that requires. I guess you guys have a bunch of different inputs because I just use the shield remote oh. and the AVR remote. And that's it. Yeah. But I don't know. I, all I use is the shield pretty much. So maybe Early that's bird. the reason. Oh, so eighty nine, ninety nine, one six. Oh, that's for two. Oh, never mind. So I think this is going to come out at like about a hundred bucks. About bucks. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit more. Who knows? Looks like it's got a wooden kind of front. Yeah, on, on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Who's that guy? Isn't that the guy who does high sense? No, just kidding. <laughs> okay, March two, twenty twenty three. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. That's still a ways away. January, February, yeah. March three, but like half, like half like, a year away. And like the YIO remote. Kind of the same thing. They did the the Kickstarter, and then so this has no it. buttons. No, no buttons. It looks uh, like it's uh, all like touch screen, which kind of sucks. I you know, heck, uh, I will, I, buttons I are know. good, man. You don't have to yeah. look. Yep. After every Monday podcast, we have an after show. If you're interested in joining us, go to patreon.com/daily-hi-fi.